Shabbat Shalom. What's doing? Shabbat Shalom. Parashat Behar this week. Parashat Behar. And we have uh, Lagla Omer also yes. coming up, which we speak yes. about. What do you want to share with us today? Um, actually, Rabbi, you prepared a beautiful uh, uh, paper worksheet mm. for, the, for the students today. Mm. It was all about the Anyan of Hezakta Bo. Mm. Which means if you see your friend that he's about to fall, make sure that he doesn't fall on the floor. Yeah. Financially, that's what we're talking about. Mm. Give him stability, make sure he doesn't fall, and always be tomech, always be mahzik. And Rashi brings out over there, he said, it's much easier to, to hold a person, it's much easier to give him stabilization when he's about to fall than when he's actually falling, when he actually fell, because that's much harder. Much harder. And then I love how you brought all the sources of the Rambam, the best way to give tzedakah, find them a job, give them dignity. Mm. And I want to bring out that that's really the anya of Lagla Omer. You see, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, mm. he was in the Me'ara for 12 years and another year. Yeah. And then when he came out, well, the first year he came, after 12 years he came out and he started burning everything. Mm-hmm. And he went back in after that. So... And the rabbis bring out, it's really Gemara, Masih Shabbat, that there was, this was all in the Eir Tiveria. It all happened in the Eir Tiveria. Mm. And when he came out, he asked, what could I do to the Eir Tiveria for hosting me? Because for, my, all I, for all those years. And the Romans are trying to find him and he was safe. He yeah, was safe yeah, 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 and he was safe. Mm. And then they said, well, we have, a, we have a cemetery over here and we all know, um, mm. you know, the Metib, if we're allowed to call him, we're allowed to pass on it or not. Mm. So he was, the Gemara it says, it wasn't proper, it wasn't no, organized. No, no. There's there no signs. Right, the, right. So the Gemara says he walked around and he, uh, and he actually did a chesed with them and he, he marked them. He, he put a, a flag, if you want to say, Kanim over here. And people started making fun of him. You know the Gemara over there? Mm-hmm. One guy started making fun of him and the Bishman Bar Yochai says, Natan bo the asa u gal He made him a Cause. pile of bones. But he said, the Bishman Bar Yochai says, he teaches us a valuable lesson. Somebody does a favor for you, always repay him. Mm-hmm. Always, always, uh, always uh, make sure you're always on the, always have that chesed, always have that kindness. Even a small favor, what they do? They hosted him. What do you mean they hosted him? It was a mi'ara there. What, they, what do you mean they hosted him? They didn't what, do anything. What host? He was eating carob and he was, yeah. didn't have clothes, exactly, nothing. Right. Exactly. But just the fact that I'm in that mm. uh, city, yeah. that town, and the mi'ara is there. And, and Bawri Ulam tells us repeatedly, that I shouldn't oppress an Egyptian. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? Look what the Egyptians did to us. No, mm-hmm. they hosted you. Mm-hmm. So that's what it means. When you always, when you, when you live this lifestyle or, or, or this, uh, it's a mentality or this mentality right. of always doing right by others, no matter what. Mm-hmm. And uh, sometimes, why, why does the Torah have to tell us Well, I don't know that. But sometimes you could say, you know, he never benefited me. Mm-hmm. I don't even know the guy from a whole mm-hmm. new world. You know, I, okay, I'll help people that I know. Right. People that I don't know, why should I help them? It's no. Not my problem. Right. The Torah goes out of its way to say, We're all brothers. He's your brother. Don't ignore him. No, don't mm-hmm. ignore him. Do right by, by a person. No matter what, do right by the person. Mm-hmm. That's, not if they did something right by you. you. You always be, you know, you be the bigger man, as they say. You always be the bigger man. Wow, wow. beautiful. That's, that's the Anyana. That's the Anyana. See, that's the anyan of Lagla Omer. There's a mahlukat, by the way. The Hatam Sufir says it's not so pashut that Lagla Omer is... What, the date, uh, what, is, what is significant about the day? We know it's a yeah, significant day. Yeah, yeah, what exactly happened? Yeah, the Hatam Sufir is not uh, under the notion that, that that's the Hilula of Rajbi. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He goes There's to town. He says, no, it's definitely not. Some say that that's the day that he was born. Yeah. Some say that it's the day he transmitted the Torah. But I saw, I saw the Da'arukha the, Shulhan. The, the mm. He says Lagla Omer is the day he went out of the Ni'ara. Wow. Okay. After the, the 13th year. Okay. And was able to spread the Torah that he had over there. And he was able to show us that act of kindness that oh. he did with Tiberia. Oh, and that's what we have to emulate. And that's the, the correction, the fix, the tikkun for the whole Omer up until that moment. Yes, yes. Of a lack of appreciation yes. for one another. And yes, 100%. Another. And he, he was from the Tamidim Rabbi Akiva. Yeah. yeah. This whole time, that, that's the whole era. That, this, that He's the one that makes the tikkun yeah. for all. For yeah, all he is. That's he beautiful. is. It's, yes. it's so interesting. 13 years, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai is stuck in that cave with just one other person. It's his son. And they're learning their Hebutot that entire time. And there's a Mishnah in Pirkei Avod in Perek Shilishi that says, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, Stam Rabbi Shimon, is Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. Rabbi Shimon says, you're sitting at a meal with three people. You have to have Divrei Torah. And it's funny because Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai 
never got to sit down with three people. Oh, wow. It's always two people. Right. For 13 years, it's always two people. So he comes out of the Me'ara <laughs> and he's coming and telling you, you have the, 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 you're, you're fortunate enough to sit down with three people. How could you not take advantage wow. of that moment and listen to one another and share the Torah with one another? Wow. I was stuck with, imagine hearing one guy. Rabbi, if I was stuck with you for 13 years, I would be, I'll be okay. I don't know how you would survive with me 13 years. We're stuck with one person 13 yeah. years. Uh, if three people, you can hear the other person's opinion and you could share those Dibre Torah. How could you not take advantage of another, another intelligent human being's opinions and insights and, and, and thoughts that you have? Share Dibre Torah. And sometimes sharing Dibre Torah is, I think it's, it's beautiful um, to stand up at the Shabbat table and to read. You know, like a written thing. It's very nice if there's a, but I think that organically, you know, which is why we do this, an organic sharing of divre Torah at the table is, I think, the most beautiful form. You know, when you say divre Torah at the Shohan, what does that mean? That means we both open up a book of Halakha. Sure, open up a book of Halakha is beautiful. I'm not saying don't do that. But the most beautiful way, I think, is when you sit there and you say, Torah is so part of our, it's natural. You know, my natural conversation is, to, to, to shift the conversation to a conversation of Torah, to share my ideas, to debate, to discuss those kinds of things. We have three people, that's what you should be doing. What else are you doing? You're sitting there, you're eating, share Dibre Torah with one another. That's why, that's why we have our company. That's the greatest form of friendship. That's Hesed also. That's Hesed for sure. Because uh, you're, giving, you're giving them knowledge. Of course. Uh, one of the greatest forms of Hesed. Yeah. So the Pasuk when it says, V'chiyya Muh Akhira doesn't necessarily mean money. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, could be mach, mach and knowledge. Mm-hmm. Encouragement, opportunities, yeah, 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 all different yeah, kinds yeah. of things. Yeah, a smile, you know? Very, very important. Especially, as, like you're saying, especially now now to fix the, the, the tikkun of the situation. But Zad Hashem will learn from Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai that idea of tikkun and camaraderie and love for one another and never forget who your ah is. Exactly. Always keep that in your yes. mind. Yes, Shabbat Shalom.